Let's get right to CBS News correspondent Lucy Kraft, who is live in Tokyo. Lucy, let me ask you, first of all, about 600 people are still unaccounted for. How are rescue efforts going this morning, or this evening in your case? Um, well, rescue teams have come in, come in from over 50 countries, um, obviously fanning out to the worst hit areas. Again, we were talking about the states of Miyagi, Iwate, um, other parts of northern Japan, northeastern as well as northwestern. Um, they're just beginning this effort, still looking for survivors, um, probably a lot of people uh, who are, were, were crushed under their homes. Um, who were swept away in the mud. Um, there's, there's going to be a lot of uh, victims, unfortunately, left to be found. Let's talk about the explosion at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. How concerned are people there as we speak? Well, um, people are very concerned. Uh, the anti-nuclear lobby is saying that this could end up to be something between a three-mile island and a Chernobyl. The government is saying, hold on, uh, let's try to stay calm about this. Uh, we're going about this in a, in a very sensible way. We do have a good chance of containing any potential radiation leak. And uh, so you have this sort of tug of war going on between uh, people are saying this is a perfect example of why an earthquake bound uh, prone country like Japan should not have uh, nuclear power. Um, and the government, of course, very heavily invested in nuclear power. It provides about a third of this country's energy and they're very dependent upon it. So they're trying to say, please calm down. We've got the situation under control. I was going to ask you, Lucy, do you see the prime minister? Do you see other folks in the government coming on television and telling people, hey, look, we got this under control. We're trying to take care of this? Yes, the operator of the, the power plant um, has been at TEPCO, Tokyo uh, Electric Power Company, has been issuing a lot of statements. Uh, government spokesmen have been making a lot of statements. The prime minister has visited uh, the area around the power plant. So you see a, a very in intensive effort being made by the government, um, again, because uh, Japan would, would screech to a halt if it abandoned nuclear power. It really doesn't have any other alternatives to reasonably priced uh, power okay. at this point. Lucy Kraft, live in Tokyo. We will see you later in the broadcast. Thank you.